I really didn't want this day to come, but it's here. Hey guys, it is Christian here, and I am gonna give you my thoughts on on how I on my rewatch of the Mulan 2020 remake, it, and how it compares to the original. So if you're new here, please like and subscribe and tell me what did you think of the Mulan remake. You you probably all know my original thoughts, but tell me yours. We're gonna disagree. we're gonna disagree. That's okay, but just don't bash your pants in the comment section. But more important than that, please do not send links to dating websites or send inappropriate comments. You'll get blocked from my channel if you break these rules. Thank you. So as I said in my original review for Mulan, I enjoyed it. Like I enjoyed it, and I just rewatched the original one, and then I just rewatched the um remake again and i have to say <laughs> it did not age well at all like it, it did not compare to the original unfortunately and, and and it's really sad because i was so excited for the mulan remake and it was pretty disappointing on a second time on a second viewing not to get me wrong not to get you guys wrong the, the movie is visually gorgeous with gorgeous cinematography and costumes and production design and visuals but there's nothing beyond but but there's nothing inside of the the gorgeous visuals but a bland and uninteresting story. Am I saying this movie is bad? Like a lot of people are? No, I'm not. But am I saying it was very mediocre and disappointing? Yeah, kind of, unfortunately. Leo, um, you the lead actress playing Mulan, I liked her when I first saw the movie, but the second time, I just, it, I came to realize that her performance is just so stilted and emotionless. Like, where's the emotion? This is even more emotionless than the Lion King remake. Yeah, there I said it. There are some redeeming qualities, like Jet Li as the Emperor was pretty good, and I did like the actor who played Mulan's father, who's probably the standout here. A lot of the changes, but, uh, but a lot of the changes didn't really make sense to change. Like, why is there no Mushu? If, there's some comedy in the movie, but why is there no Mushu? Well, I kind of, I kind of wish the movie was a little bit more lighthearted. Um, I, I'm fine with there not being Li Shang because he's, because there is kind of someone like Li Shang in the remake. But there's, but this like phoenix thing has it has no purpose you can cut it out of the film and it wouldn't impact and it wouldn't um change the movie at all and i also thought when i felt when i had goosebumps when mulan was getting putting on the armor and getting ready to go to war i felt nothing with the remake i felt nothing unfortunately e e mulan's face expression was just so surprisingly emotionless like where's the emotion and also, the chain. It was a little bit of a shame that Mulan's grandma was in the film. I'm fine with her having a sister, but I kind of wish the grandma was there as well. There's no, there's no sense with with not having Cricket here. Here, I love Cricket. Um, and they, st some of the lines in the movie are lyrics from the songs, but you don't have the songs. Like, what is this? What is this? The villains here are pretty bad as well. The villains here are very forgettable. Bori Khan was not a really good villain. He was even worse than Sean Yu in the original. As much as I love the original one, I thought Sean Yu was a little was a, not a good villain, not a really great villain, unfortunately, because he doesn't really do anything, and, and we don't really get to learn a lot about his backstory. The witch is not. The witch doesn't really do anything, and she. Spoiler alert: She redeems herself later. And did she, like, should we still forgive her after what she tried to do to Mulan? Like, we shouldn't. And But the movie persuades you should. And personally, well, but this movie was kind of mediocre, unfortunately, and pretty disappointing on a second viewing. I thought it was a little bit more disappointing than Scoob and New Mutants were, even though those movies were incredibly disappointing. This one takes the cake for biggest disappointment of the year so far. And this gets a 5 out of 10 and a C+. Plus. Also, the message doesn't really, um, the message is not really great, and it's just a little, it's less mature than the original. And that's really sad. So overall, I gotta give this a 5 out of 10 and a C+. Plus. Thank you guys so much for watching, and tell me your thoughts. Down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and bye.